Only good bug is a dead bug. Starship Troopers, Extermination, an extraction shooter with a little twist brought to us by Offworld Industries. Like all extraction shooters, you have your class types. Here we have Hunter, Bastion, and an Operator, each with unique combinations of weapons, perks, and abilities. Almost all the weapons and grenades seem to be shared by all the classes, but they each have their own unique abilities that when used with these grenades and perks and weapons gives them all a unique feel. The Hunter class has a jetpack yeah, enabling it to get to higher elevations to get a better view oh, of the battlefield. Really. The, the Heavy Trooper has a bastion that can be put around him giving him a effectively the ability it. to be invincible and the Support Trooper can carry two resource canisters. That's the uh, little bit of a twist here. During the course of each match, you'll be bringing back resources to a centralized position. These positions become your ending objective effectively. You need to protect these while they fulfill their role from hordes of incoming arachnid. The more well your team performs, the more prepared you're going to be at this stage. Where this game truly shines is where everyone's working together as a single cohesive unit. Here we are building defenses, laying down ammo boxes, putting up laser towers and laser fences. That's being done right now with a bunker. That's done. Good work, guys. Good work. A little bit of positive encouragement. Teamwork is kind of key Maybe to we'll the game. Well. With the uh, three different classes yeah, working very well together. For example, we've got a heavy trooper at the top of this tower and I'm laying down some ammo boxes ammo. for him. Once the final objective oh, conditions yeah. have been met, the arachnid horde will show up and this is where it gets well this is where it gets fun it, it's a bit chaotic as you can see in the background right now it's footage from a stream i did the other day where we're under constant attack from every direction by many different types of arachnids not, not just the warrior type but we've got grenadiers and gunners as well once this part of the game is sort of over oh, you'll notice it. in the top left corner there's an objective counting down once that gets there, it, you got to run for the dropship. And that's where you sort of see who the people are that you're playing with. Some will help you, some will leave you to die. But either way, it's it's a fun moment. Is it worth it? Is it worth the money? Is it worth the time? Yes. The price is pretty cheap. And for it being an early access, it's either going to get more expensive as they add more stuff, or it won't, and they're just going to add more stuff. The progression isn't too bad, just in the last two three days i've managed to max out the level of one character class Shit. so if this sounds like your kind of thing you can pick this oh, up on. on steam if you're still not sure you can find some videos that i've done on it on my channel some of those live streams are pretty funny especially when the trolls show up thank you for watching and a big thank you to my channel members and patreons if you'd like to become one the link is down below i'll see you in the next one Gun up.